Hey, welcome back to Wing Ziggles Ministry today. Today I want to share with you a little thought that I hope makes you think about salvation, eternity, and making sure that you are on the right path. Recently I read a story, and I was reading this little article actually, and it talked about a man who was in a city, and he was going to leave the city to go home. And he got a text from his daughter, and the text said, Dad, you're going to be stuck there a while. The main highway is closed. Well, said the dad, looked, and he tried to find some alternate routes out of the city. But every way out of the city led to the same road. So he knew he was going to be basically stuck there. So the story went on and said that he had a granddaughter in the area, so he went to one of her sporting events and gave the road time to clear. But do you know, when it comes to real life, there are many roads out of places and into other places. You know, one of my favorite places to travel and one of my favorite vacations a person can take is the Great Smoky Mountains in Tennessee. There are different routes that you can go to get there. For example, where I live, you can either go through Nashville and if you're not familiar with maybe the United States or this part of the country, Nashville is a very, very busy city that you have to drive through. Well, myself, I always like taking the alternate route in which you can bypass Nashville. My wife, she likes to go and go through Nashville. The reason why is my route takes us about an hour longer. In other words, a six-hour trip to the Smoky Mountains becomes a seven-hour trip. So usually I'll tell her, hey, if you want to drive through Nashville, we'll go that way. But there are different routes a person can take. I remember something my pastor used to say is I was brought up under him from a little child. And he began to use something that someone told him one time. And they told him this. They told him, they said, they was talking about salvation. And they said, there's a lot of roads you can take to get to Chicago. And my pastor said, when it comes to salvation, he said, I'm not going to Chicago. And he said, I want to make sure I'm on the right road. Wonderful, wonderful words. The important thing I want to share with you today is John chapter number 14 in verse number 6. Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Now, did you notice what Jesus said? Now, there's a lot of roads and there's a lot of ways to get to a lot of places on this earth. But Jesus said unto this man, he said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. I am the way. Then he goes on and he said, no man. Now get that. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. So here Jesus says two things that's very important. The whole verse is important, but let me say it like this. I want to focus on those two things. I am the way, and no man cometh to the Father but by me. You know, there's a lot of roads today in the Christian world that lead to salvation there's a lot of roads that a lot of people teach that might lead to heaven. There might be the road of just being a good person. There might be a road of kindness. There might be a road of being a good neighbor. There might be the road of shaking a person's hand. There might be a road for just being on a church road. Now, understand, all of these things are good. I'm not saying nothing about all these things. 
But what I am saying is this. Those roads will not lead you to heaven. Because you can be kind and not know the Lord. You can be a good man and have good works and not know the Lord. But the only way, and listen to me today, the only way you're going to get from this world to a better place, the only way that you can know that you will spend eternity in a wonderful place with Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior is to go through him. He said, I am the way. And he said, no man cometh unto the Father but by him. He's the way to heaven today. Good works is fine. Attending a church is fine. Being a good person is fine. All of these things are wonderful. But don't leave out the main thing. Because the main thing is Christ. And he is the only one that's going to save. All those other roads might lead to a good man or good things said about you. But like the person told my pastor, he said there's a lot of roads that you can take to get to Chicago. And he was trying to justify different ways people can be born again or be saved. And my pastor said, when it comes to eternity and salvation, he said, I'm not going to Chicago. And he said, I want to go the right way. So today I ask you, just make sure Jesus Christ is Lord of your life. And I ask you, are you on the right road? Hope you've enjoyed this video today. God loves you. God bless you. Make sure you like, subscribe if you're new here. And we'll catch you on the next video.